So I'm going to be reading uh, some verses from Zohar Ha'azinu. This section is called Idrazuta, which literally means the small gathering. Uh, verse 23 in the Zohar of Ha'azinu. Lamadnu in the Sulam, which is Vashlag's interpretation of the Zohar. Lamadnu be'oto yom sh'rabi Shimon ratzal yislek min ha'olam. We learned that on the day that Rabbi Shimon wanted to leave the world, uh, and he um, organized his words and he gathered the, the friends uh, with Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Abba and the rest of the friends, as it says, were, make, were in the house and the house was full. Rabbi Shimon lifted his eyes and he saw that the house was full. Rabbi Shimon cried and said, On a different time, when I was sick, Rabbi Pinchas ben Yair was in front of me and until I... Um, uh, made clear my my uh, place in Gad Eden. The they waited for me until now. Right. And when I came back, there was a fire surrounding. Uh, Surrounding me, and it wouldn't stop, and no person could enter without permission. Now I see that the fire has stopped, and the house became full. And also, when they were sitting, and Rabbi Shimon opened his eyes, and he saw what he saw. And the fire is surrounding the house. Everybody got out of the house. Rabbi Abba, and all the friends were in the Rabbi uh, Elazar, Rabbi Shimon's son, and Rabbi Abba were the ones who stayed inside, the rest of the friends were outside. Amar Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Elazar, Beno. Rabbi Shimon said to his son, Tzeu re'im Rabbi Yitzchak yishno kan, k'ani avarti lo, emor lo, shisadar devara v'yashiv etzli ashri chalko. Go find Rabbi Yitzchak, see if he's outside, because I was a guarantor for him. Tell him to settle his affairs and sit by me, happy is his portion. Right, so he's, Rabbi Lazar is sent to go find Rabbi Yitzchak. Come Rabbi Shimon, v'yashav, v'tzachak, v'samach. Rabbi Shimon got up, sat down, laughed, and smiled, and became happy. Amal, he said, Where are my friends? Where are the friends? Rabbi Elazar got up and brought them inside. They sat in front of him. Rabbi Shimon lifted his hand. He prayed a prayer and he was happy. And he said, These are the, these are the friends that are found in the gathering. Is the new Khan. So he's referring to the Idra Rabbah, which was the place where, if you've ever been there, there's like a place in Israel where there's uh, where the Rabbi Shimon and his students and his friends would, would study in the Idra Rabbah. So he was happy that all the same people were in the were in the house. Yatsukulam, everyone went outside. When Rabbi 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 and the only ones who Stayed were Rabbi Elazar, Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yossi, and Rabbi Chia. Betoch kach nechnas Rabbi Yitzchak. And in that moment, Rabbi Yitzchak came inside. Amar lo Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon said to him, Kama yafech al kecha, how beautiful is your portion? Kama simcha tzricha litosef lecha biyom haze, how much happiness should you have on this day? Yeshav Rabbi Abba achorei ktefa, ve Rabbi Elazar lefanav. Rabbi Abba sat behind his shoulders, and Rabbi Elazar was in front of him. Amar Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shimon said, Hine ata she'at ratzon hi. 
Now is the time of desire. And I want to come to the next world without any embarrassment. There are holy things or holy words or holy teachings that I haven't revealed until now. I want to reveal them in front of the Shechina so that people won't say that I... Um, left the world with a lack. And until now these things were hidden in my heart. So I can bring them to the next world. Just a side point that uh, when it says Zman Ratzon, it's also another time to meditate or to think about anything you need help with for Rabbi Shimon. Just ask. And this is what I'm going to be uh, setting for you, organizing for you. Rabbi Abba Yechtov. Rabbi Abba will be the scribe. Rabbi Elazar ben Bani Ilmod Bape. Rabbi Elazar will learn um, orally. Veshara Chavarim Yedovevu Belibam. And the rest of the friends will... Yedovevu Belibam. Literally means... We'll be happy in their hearts. And the other friends shall speak in their hearts. So they'll think about the teachings silently. Rabbi Abba got up from behind his shoulders. Rabbi Elazar and Rabbi Elazar was sitting in front of Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon said to him, Kubmani, please get up, my son. So uh, Rabbi Shimon says to Rabbi Elazar that someone else is going to sit in the seat that you're sitting in. Rabbi Shimon wrapped himself in his garments and he sat down. He started the conversation of Torah by saying, So it's a pasuk. And literally means, the dead cannot praise Hashem, nor can any who go down into silence. Or the word silence in Hebrew is also the name for the angel of hell. Okay, no. Um, when we say, when it says, when it's talking about Lo Amitim, the dead cannot praise Hashem, because the dead, as the Zohar says, is the Rishaim, uh, is the wicked people, and the people who are alive are the Tzadikim, the righteous people. Uh, so it's talking about how the um, uh, the uh, Malach of Hell, who is goes by the name D U M A, and they will stay in Hell. So only the dead, the wicked, as it the Zohar says, will will stay with. Um, D U M A in, in Genom, and those who are called Chaim Tzadikim, that's where, uh, that's who Akadosh Baruch Hu wants, the Creator wants close to them. Amar Rabbi Shimon, Kam Meshuna Shazay, how much does this hour matter? Midra Rabba Shibashal, how different is this time from the Idra Rabba in the portion of Nassau, since in the Idra the Holy One, blessed be He, came with His chariots. Now the Holy One, blessed be He, is here coming with the righteous that are in the Garden of Eden, which has not happened at the Idra. So he's saying it's very different, this Idra, this gathering, than the Idra before, because this gathering, Akalash Baruch Hu, the Creator, brought all the Tzadikim with Him. And the Creator wants um, their honor, or their 
Yeah, their honor of the tzaddikim of the righteous people more than his own honor. So there was a king called uh, Iravam. In English, his name is Jeroboam. And so he was a king of Israel that uh, worshipped idols. So the story goes on. So it talks about how Yerobam, Jeroboam, um, he, even though he worshipped idols, the only time that his hand would dry out, his hand became dry, the Pasuk says, when he would uh, raise his hand against the Navi Edo. And not uh, when he was doing Abu Zara. So, what do we learn from the idea that Yerovam, a wicked person who, who worshipped idols, the only time he would be punished is when he would try to attack a righteous person. So, it's teaching us that Akalash Baruch Hu, the Creator, it, it doesn't matter what you do, it matters who you are fighting. If you're just doing something bad, okay. Akalash Baruch Hu, the Creator, can deal with that. But if you're trying to um, uh, put another person down or try to ruin someone else, that's where there's a line. So this is what it's saying where um, the Creator wants the honor of Tzadikim to come with him from Gan Eden. There are 70 uh, righteous people who are crowned with um, crowns. And they have a light on them from Atika Kadisha. The, um, they have a very intense uh, powerful light that shines upon them. Hasatum calls to me and it separates and divide and divides which is separated and divided yet is not divided. And he's coming to listen, Rabbi Nuna Saba is coming to listen to all the things that I have to say. Also, when Rav Nun Saba sat down, uh, he said, Rabbi Pinchas Ben Yair is here, make some room for him. The friends that were there made some room. And they sat. Rabbi Elazar and Rabbi Abba are still close to Rabbi Shimon. In the Idra Rabbah, in the big gathering, where this is the small gathering, in the big gathering, we found that uh, all, the, um, all the friends would say, and I would be with them. Now, I'm the one speaking by myself, and you, guys, and you will listen to what I am saying. The upper levels and the lower levels. Um, happy is my portion today. Rabbi Shimon started a new conversation of Torah and said, I All the days that I have been on this uh, world, been in this world, I've only been connected to one thing, and that was a Kadosh Baruch Hu. And now, this is why his desire is towards me. He, the Hakadosh Baruch the Creator, wants me. Rabbi Shimon says, and because his camp, his holy camp, and him. Him and his holy camp all came to listen to my words. And so, he's saying that he's coming to hear everything that I have to say that is holy. 
and it cleaves to him and he cleaves to everything he is everything so that is the first part of the story of the Eid al-Zuta the small gathering so it's just talking about how Rabbi Shimon his followers were so many that he, they all tried to fit into his house um, but this story it sort of talks about how When you, like Yerovam, like the king who was an idol worshiper, when you're doing something bad, that's not necessarily the problem that might be in your life. It might be the only thing that's going wrong in your life is that you might be doing something bad, but to others. So when you look at something that's not working, you have to think about maybe there's something that's affecting someone else in my life that I need to fix or that I need to change. And once you think about that, you're able to make progress and change it. So that's the first part of the story. Now we're going to go to a story of how Rabbi Shimon passed away. And the argument that happened between the people who wanted to bury him and where they wanted to bury him. One second. Amar Rabbi Abba. Rabbi Abba said, and Rabbi Abba is the scribe, the person who writes everything that Rabbi Shimon is saying. Lo gmar ha-ma'or kadosh lo The great luminary, the holy luminary, did not even finish saying the word chayim ad shnishtechechu dvarav, until his uh, words stopped. What does this mean? He, Rabbi Abba is in shock that Rabbi Shimon just started, stopped speaking because he passed away from the world. So it's Amazing that it's put into words that Rabbi Abba is realizing that his teacher has passed on. Vani katafti, and I wrote, v'chashavti lechtov od, and I was thinking I should write more. V'lo shamati, but I didn't hear any words to write down. So remembering that Rabbi Abba is the scribe for Rabbi Shimon, and he didn't hear any more words to write down because Rabbi Shimon had passed. V'lo arimoti rashi, and I did not lift my head, ki ha'or haya gadol, because the light was so big and strong. And I was not able to look. And I trembled and I heard a voice, a voice saying for length of days and long life. And another voice saying he asked life of you. And then it's going to continue with the story that whole day the fire around the house did not stop and nobody could touch or reach the fire because they could not they didn't have the ability because the light and the fire was surrounding him or it the house the entire day I was on the earth, I was bowing and I, I, was, I fell on the, earth, on the earth and I was crying loudly, I was weeping. After the fire went, I saw the great, the holy luminary, the holy of holies, that he was separated from this world, that he was wrapped around and lying on his right side and he had a laugh uh, a laughing face he was happy to leave the world he was happy when he was leaving the world Rabbi Elazar, his son took Rabbi Shimon's hand and kissed it and I uh, it literally means uh, chewed or kissed the earth that was under his feet. The friends wanted to cry, and they couldn't speak. The friends started to cry, and Rabbi Elazar, his son, he fell three times, and he couldn't open his mouth. Afterwards, he opened his mouth and said, Avi, Avi. My father, my father. There were three before, and now there is just one. 
גדולים היו בארץ, there were three big people on earth, שהם רבי אלעזר ואביו רשבי, וזקנו רבי פנחס בן יאיר. There was רבי אלעזר, רבי אלעזר's father, רבי שמעון בר יוחאי, and uh, רבי שמעון בר יוחאי's זקן, רבי פנחס בן יאיר. Uh, זקנו, I think it's his father in law, רבי פנחס בן יאיר. ועתה נשאר רבי אלעזר יתום מזקנו. And now, רבי אלעזר is orphaned from his father and from his father-in-law. So Rabbi uh, Pinchas ben Yair was Rabbi Elazar's father-in-law. And only one remains in this world. Now that the, this big tree that has left the world, that the uh, animals of the field used to walk in, walk around, וענפיו ידורו עוף השמיים ומזון לכל בו. נמצא עתה שאחיות תנודדנה ועוף השמיים שישבו בענפיו ישתקעו בין עוקבי ים הגדול. והחברים במקום המזון שקיבלו ממנו ישתו דם. Now after this, this great tree is gone, under which the beasts of the field used to walk, and in which bows dwelt the birds, of the sky and which had food for everyone, now the beasts will wander. And the birds that used to dwell in its bows will sink into the chasm in the great sea, and the friends, instead of the food they received from it, will drink blood. Kam Rabbi Chia al Ragla v'amar, Rabbi Chia stood on his feet and said, Ad ata ayah ma'or kadosh meshkiach aleinu, until now the holy luminary uh, was watching over us, ata en azman, but now, uh, now is the time to strive to honor him. Come Rabbi Elazar and Rabbi Abba, lakhu oto mimkomo al mita avsuya kusulam. Rabbi Elazar and Rabbi Abba took Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai's uh, body and they put it on a um, bed that looked like a, 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 a ladder. So if you've ever seen a bed frame, it's, it's basically a bed but with bars. Kedei lealoto al mitato. So they could put him on his deathbed. Mira ad bilbul hadad shel chaverim. Who has ever seen such confusion of the friends? The whole house emitted good fragrances. They raised him on his bed, and none served him but Rabbi Elazar and Rabbi Abba. Ba'u ba'u mekim ubalei maginim mikfar tzipori. Bullies and armed people came from the village of Tzipori. שרצו שיגברו אותו במקומם. They wanted to bear Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai in Tzipori. ובאו ללקחו בכוח ובמלחמה. And they wanted to take him with strength and with war. וגרשו אותם בני מירון. And the people who lived in מירון drove them away. וצעקו עליהם בהמוניהם שרצו שלא יגבור שם, אלא שיגבר אצלם. אחר שיצאה מיתה מן הבית, הייתה עולה באוויר, ואש הייתה לוהטת לפניה. שמעו קול, התנסו ובואו והתכווצו להילולה של רבי שמעון. יבוא שלום ינוחו על משכבותם. So, the people of Tzipori and the people of Meron were arguing on where Rabbi Shimon should be buried. And so, Rabbi, the people from Meron started shouting at, Tzipo, at the people from Tzipori, because they didn't want him to be buried in Tzipori. So, what happened was, the bed of Rabbi Shimon rose up into the sky, into the air, and there was a fire that came from the bed. So everyone who was arguing suddenly heard a voice, and the voice said, Come and gather to the feast of Rabbi Shimon, shall enter in peace to them that rest in their graves. So, when he entered the cave, they heard a voice inside the cave. This is the man who caused the earth to tremble. Margiz Mamlachot provoked kingdoms. Kama makat mikatrigim barakia nishkatim biyom azeh bishvilcha. Zeh Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai, sheedonu mishtabeach bo bechol yom. Ashrei chalko lemala velamata, kama otzrot elyonim shomrim lo. Alav neemar vata lecha lekets vetanuach vetamod legaolecha lekets haimin. So the voice says, 
How many prosecutors in the firmament are quieted today for your sake? This is Rabbi Shimon by Yochai, with whom his master glorifies himself daily. Blessed is his portion above and below. How many supernal treasures await him? Of him it says, But go you your way till the end be, for you shall rest, and stand up for your allotted portion at the end of the days. So this was the story of how Rabbi Shimon passed away. And it's just a very powerful story.